Okay, due to popular demand, I'm going to show you guys how I clean a volume control. We all have a stereo that does that. Listen to that. Can you hear that? Now this can't, I know you can't hear it on camera. Not only is it dirty as far as going, but it won't let me turn the volume down all the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to clean a volume control. This also pertains to how to clean your treble, bass, balance, all this kind of stuff. It's all the basic same idea. Hear how that skips? A lot of yours might be really scratchy. In this particular case, it won't let me turn the volume all the way down. But anyway, so let's clean it. What we're going to first do is unplug the device. Okay, I'm going to show you what I use. So Deox, which is the D5, which is the stuff that's currently available is one of my favorites but this stuff's 24 bucks a can give or take same with this the deox gold g5 is extremely spendy these are like 24 25 bucks sometimes you know i've got i got this one on sale actually for 18 dollars on radioshack.com yes radio shack is still in business as a mail order company and radioshack.com actually rules they're not as fast as Amazon as far as shipping goes, but they had these on for like five bucks off. All right, the QRC, QD Electronic Cleaner. This stuff you can buy at uh, Harbor Freight. You can buy at Wally World. I buy it at Wally World because it's about $6.89 a can. What I do is I start off with the CRC. This stuff is really inexpensive. You get quite a lot of volume here. And what I do is... Um, I use this first. This is kind of like a pre-wash uh, for me. So I like to squirt it in the uh, pots and get it cleaned out. And I, and I use this first. Once I get the pot where it's starting to uh, rotate freely, sometimes uh, you'll get one of these that's kind of gummed up and they turn very hard. Or you can feel they're a little coarse. This one has a little coarse feel to it. Um, when I first started playing around with this, it was a little... Mm, it fought me a little bit. It, it, it felt like it was a little gummed up. So what I do is I use this as a pre-wash. Now, a lot of folks will just go and use this to do the pre-wash, but um, I've found that I actually waste product and this comes back and haunts me. So I do the pre-wash, then I do this, and then when I get the thing to where it feels good and um, I turn the device back on and it sounds good, I'll go back and I'll throw a couple shots of the gold in there because I believe in my opinion, that this is a great product to do as follow-up. I think this um, lasts a little bit longer, this coating on here, that this gives you, uh, the, the internals lasts just a hair longer. Um, this is um, definitely a good product, but I like to use this with this. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to use the cleaner. So let's just set up the camera here real quick. And uh, hopefully I can get this in frame and just watch what I do. So I give this a little shake up. The unit's unplugged. I'll spray here. I'll spray into here. Kind of get that dirt out. You don't need to be afraid of using this stuff. It's not going to hurt any of the internals of the, of the electronics of the unit here. And I just kind of like to work this in. And like I say, this is only six, seven, eight dollars a can. Don't be afraid to use it. Yes, it's dripping down into other places here, but that's okay because it'll dry up. And we're going to make sure that's dry before we fire the unit back up anyway. We're going to let all that dry. We may have to take and blow it with a little compressed air to finish up. But uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to sit and I'm going to work that in. Blow on it a little bit if you can't. Okay, that's already starting to feel better. Oh, a lot better, actually. And you go continue from beginning to end. I mean, you know, work the whole thing. Just don't, you know, you know, go from, say, like, 
eight o'clock to 10 o'clock or midnight or 12 o'clock or whatever. I go all the way around. I go from minimum to maximum, minimum to maximum. All right. This is feeling a lot better already. All right. I got my little animatizer extension on here because I was working on another unit um, that I really had to get in. And uh, I'm going to keep that on there. So I'm going to give the can a little shake. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to give it a little squirt. And I'm going to start working it in. And oh my gosh, it feels even better. Now to save time, I'm going to just hit it with the Deox Gold now. Because I'm feeling pretty confident. This 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 feels 100% better. I wish you guys could feel this. It's not grainy anymore. Uh, the control feels like uh, like it should. It's really nice and smooth. All right. Now I'm going to give the, the gold a little shake up here. Now this is optional. This is just... I like, like I said, it seems like over the years, if I give it a little shot of gold, I think the repair lasts a little longer. So I'll give it a little shot there, a little shot there. Oh my gosh, that just kicked it up another notch. I think that's a great combination. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. And we're going from minimum to maximum. And I think we'll work that a little bit more. And I think we're going to call that good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to blow this out a little bit. And uh, I'm going to let these fluids dry. Because there's some that's leaked down here on this tone board that I can't get dried out uh, without taking the thing apart. Now, if you guys have something like this, a setup like this, like a tone board like this with your, this has like the, what is this? This has uh, treble, mid-range, and bass controls on it. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to gain access to this. So you're going to want to uh, pull the knobs off, undo the shaft nuts over here. Undo these shaft nuts that are behind the knobs. Then you're going to want to pull this board out, take it out of the unit, peel it back a little bit so you can get in here to these little openings like on this volume pot. So step one, I took the QD electronic cleaner as kind of a pre-wash. I got her right in there, gave her some squirts right in there. I went up here a little bit and got in between there. So what I did is I kind of went at it from the top and the bottom, right? Worked the action back and forth like this, okay? I did feel it free up a little bit. It was still a little, little greeny feeling, but it, it did start coming out of it. When I felt like it was as about as far as I'm going to go, then I hit it with the Deox D5. And once again, I got right up in those little holes right there. And as you can see, as I'm turning this, I hope this camera is going to let us see that. You can see the internals working in there. See that? All right. As soon as I hit it with the D5, I could already feel in this thing come alive. So that was nice. And then as a follow-up, I hit it with the Deox Gold. This is optional, but I do find the repairs last a little bit longer. All right, enough of that rambling. Let's uh, flip the unit back over and uh, see if we have success. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna turn it on. We're gonna see if we have success. Listen to that. Just smooth. Now that little pop that you heard, was in here the shop that was not the volume control itself but listen that'll turn all the way down so awesome that is how you clean a volume control you can bring your old electronic device your old amplifier receiver whatever back to life that little scratching sound that you hear right now in the background is from uh, all the electronics in the shop here. We have a ton of fluorescence, a lot of equipment going on in the other room, so it's going to pick up that noise. But we have fixed the volume control, so we are looking good. Uh, onto the power switch and these other ones, and we're going to do this in the same way, and we're just going to kind of work that fluid in and go back and forth. All right, I hope this helps some of you guys. Um, thank you for watching.
and uh, let me know how your little cleanup project did. Did it work for you? Did that combination work for you? Oh, by the way, one last thing, kind of a pet peeve of mine. People say that you can use WD-40. Never, ever, ever clean any electronics with WD-40. You could maybe clean like an industrial switch or something, but nothing like this. Never use this. WD-40 also makes a contact cleaner. It comes in a green can. I honestly have not used it. I've been using Deox for decades. And honestly, this is the way to go. Thanks for watching. Please don't get, forget to subscribe. And y'all have a good day.